We have a lot of stuff in front of me right now that is supposed to be pretty sour. So I already have had stuff that has like tahine and chamoy, but I follow this girl named Danielle and she's a really, really huge like candy TikToker. And she always raves about these chamoy pickles, but she lives in California. So the shipping would have been like $10 and then like, for some reason, she's charging like $10 for a single pickle. So I didn't really want to justify spending over $20 to try a chamoy pickle. And then like they had a listing for three chamoy pickles for like $22 on Amazon, which I was like, but what if I don't like the chamoy pickle? Then like that won't be worth it. So I thought for this video, it'd be fun. So this was like $44, I know, like pretty hefty. Or no, maybe it's 40. Anyways, I'll put the listing in my description if you guys wanna check this out. So it comes with one chamoy pickle. So it's the Big Tex dill pickle in chamoy. I honestly blame social media for like why the price is, it, is what it is. I feel like if it wasn't for social media, like hyping these up, it would literally only be worth like two or three dollars at like a random gas station. So it also came with, um, I follow this like Mexi Texi lady and she makes sour pickled um, candy. And she also makes like chamoy and tahine um, candy as well. So this is, she's always using cherry bombs. So honestly, she's the reason why I wanted to give those a try. And then these are extreme sour with chili belts. The only chamoy item that I've really tried is like gushers. Those were pretty good. And then, so I got two of the belts two of the cherry bombs um i've had these before i don't like them like they're sour but like i like pickle like stuff i'm not a fan of these these just happen to come with it so i'll probably just pass those along to someone else and then these ones besides the pickle i'm the most excited to try so these are the gummy and bloody bears it's chamoy and chili sweet and sour bears so yeah, if it looks like I've taken bites out of stuff, that's because I'm like kind of trying to like do a TikTok at the same time for this stuff. So it's not that like it's already eaten, if that makes sense. Yeah, so. Oh my gosh. See, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm waiting like till now to eat this, honestly. Like she take, uh, Danielle, she's the one who took like a giant ass bite of this. Oh, that was like really sour. The pickled taste, I don't know how to explain it, but that was pretty good. I'm literally gonna put the rest of that in a jar and like buy some more pickles tomorrow. Like I, I don't even give a shit, that was good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the gummy bears ah crap okay see i i know that i could have legitimately recreated this so easily but you know then i'd have to buy the gummy bears and oh, those are good those don't those ain't gonna last long those are really freaking good. I don't know what it is, but something about candy with anything chamoy and tahin is just a go-to. Okay. Ooh. But sour taste though. Okay. Now we have the sour belts. I know what you're thinking. That is so overpriced. I can't imagine spending like $40, $44. And I'm like, you know, I'm low-key not mad about it, to be quite honest. Like, this is all going to get eaten besides those pickle balls. Okay, lastly. Ooh. Causing my uh, nose to 
start to feel the heat. I feel like my body's just going to really regret eating all this spicy stuff because literally right before I went to film this video, I had the TikTok like, it's been like a thing for a while, but I still eat them like unironically. The cream cheese taki and bell pepper. Are these supposed to be spicy? Like the actual candy? Now these aren't red hots, they're just cherry bombs. I'm not the biggest fan of like cherry stuff. Mm. I actually really like that. It's not as um, sour and spicy as the other candies. Mm. Actually, I almost like those better than the gummy bears. I'm shocked. All right, so overall, I would actually purchase that again. Or at the very least, remake all that stuff. Because everything was amazing except for the sour pickle balls. But like I said before, I've had them before. And I, I don't like them. Um, but I am open to trying pickled candy. I feel like it can't be that hard to recreate. As for the pickle, do I think it's worth the hype? Yes. Do I wish it was less expensive? Also, yes. So go ahead and check my link in my description to buy this exact kit on Amazon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.